In this video, we're going to look at some features of EFT that you may not be aware of that a lot of people don't use. So most people use EFT to fit their ships, to find a good fit, to see how that fit's going to work with their character's skills. Uh, so you can see like the DPS output, the tank, the hit points, speed, agility, all that stuff. But most people don't know that you can also do some theory crafting. You can also do some simulations in EFT to see how effective one ship will be against another under certain circumstances. You can also see what effects things like command links or a link ship will do to your ship and how that's going to affect your effectiveness in combat. So first of all, let's look at a basic simulation. Now obviously this isn't going to be the same as in game. In the game there's going to be a lot of differences, but it can give you some ideas of what your capabilities are once you get into game. So our attacker is going to be the tornado. Our target's going to be the thorax. And we're going to say ideally this tornado fit right here wants to sit at about 20k at least. So with both ships, these little things over here on the right side are the velocities of the ship. So you can see here the arrow for the attacker is going towards the target 100% of its velocity. The target's velocity is 100% towards the attacker. So in this situation, both targets are moving towards each other at full speed, meaning tracking's perfect. There's no trouble tracking. So right now you can see there's, let's move this over here, 683 DPS the tornado is putting onto the thorax at 20k. If we drop that to 25k, you can see it goes down to, uh, if I can't even get it there, but 610 for 25.6. But most likely it's not going to be like that. Most likely it's going to be something more like the tornado running away as the thorax chases, because the thorax is a close range thorax and he wants to scram. So, and you're never doing 100% velocity. I mean, almost never. It's, it's rare. So something like that, and you still have perfect tracking relatively, Let's say 20k. But you can see here that the thorax is going 2,000 meters a second, the tornado is going 1650. So in this example, if the tornado doesn't kill the thorax before he gets in on him, then things are going to change. If the thorax gets in close and gets a scram, then all of a sudden the tornado loses his micro warp drive, Thorax won't need his micro warp drive, and the thorax will be in at under 5k, let's say 3k, and now he'll be going like that, probably about 75% across the tornado. So he'll be orbiting the tornado at between 500 and 3,000. Somewhere in there will be the actual orbit, even though he'll be trying to orbit at 500, the thorax. So at this range, you can see there's a big problem. The thorax is only taking 3 DPS from the tornado, which means that the tornado is going to die. 100% certain tornado is going to die in this situation. But let's change it back to the tornado chasing, or the thorax chasing the tornado, and the tornado successfully keeping him at 20k. Except this time, let's use command links. So over here I have a Loki, it's a Linky Loki, and it's a pretty basic setup. I have it changed a little bit from what most people would probably do. A lot of people run a four link Loki, which has three skirmish links and one siege link. I like to do this setup because this setup allows you to use an interdiction nullifier. So it's easier to move through nullsec and scout. So if you're scouting your tornado and you're running uh, your dual boxing, you can use both. Um, most of the time, I don't use links, but every once in a while it's fun to use. Mostly when I use links, it's just in fleets um, to help out a fleet. But when you are solo and you use links, it can be a huge advantage. So it's definitely something to consider training a, a second account for uh, because it will make a big difference in your effectiveness. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you have the skills. So we got all level 5 there. So that shows our skills, and it's going to have maxed out skills. And then right over here, to see what effects that will have on the tornado, we come over here, squad commander, and you do bonuses from ship. If we were to do bonuses from character, you would get just the standard leadership bonuses. You see the shield hit points went up, armor hit points went up, 
agility gets a little bit better, um, lock time slightly better, stuff like that. But in this case, we don't want to do that. We want to do bonuses from ship. And go to Loki. And now when I do this here, when I do this, I want you to watch the velocity, the agility, and the shield hit points. All right? So that's standard without any bonuses whatsoever. 28,000 EHP, 1650 mobility. So all of a sudden we jump up to 35,000 EHP and 2131 mobility, m meters per second, top speed. So all of a sudden now this tornado is a lot faster. Something else, if you look over here, the warp disruptor went from 24k range to 36.7 range. That gives it a lot more flexibility where it can actually fight this fight at 30k and have a lot more safety, a larger margin of safety while engaging this uh, this thorax. So you see the thorax here. Now he's actually slower than the tornado. All the tornado really has to do is watch for this uh, thorax to overload. If he overloads the thorax, uh, the, the tornado needs to be able to respond and overload as well to make sure he's able to maintain 30 to 20k. So in this case, because he has links, he'd actually be doing a keep at 30 right here. Keep at 30 on the thorax, which gives him more time to adjust should the thorax try to bounce him in or anything like that. So you can see just from that, you can use the DPS graphs to see how effective your ship is at different ranges, to see how effective it is at tracking different ships. So for example, I could maybe bring in a Dramiel and show how well my tornado will track a Dramiel from you know, 80k all the way up to zero and see if it's even possible to hit a Dramiel at 40k as he comes in on me. And I can find out a lot of information about the capabilities of my ship. And the more you know about how effective your ship is and what your ship can and can't do, the more effective you're going to be at PvP. So that's the basics for the advanced stuff in EFT, knowing about leadership bonus.